the buddy breaking news. Just yesterday, we saw the worst landing recorded over the last five years. Okay, probably not. We see right here a UPS 7478F that's going to break. In a second, you can see the crazy crosswind conditions going on. This plane is flying sideways, and now it's tipping over to the left here, nearly striking the wing on the on the left side. Let's maybe see what what's going to do next. And boom! That is insane of a recording. Uh, yes, yeah, due to the crosswind, with an attempt to crab the airplane, the plane ended up tipping over, hitting the fourth engine so hard that sparks flipped out, like quite a lot of sparks. Definitely a very crazy clip. Now, this happened in Taiwan at the Taipei Taiwan International Airport, and the plane was landing during the typhoon that's going on there right now. The so-called Typhoon Podul has been roaming over the country, leaving one person missing and one engine missing. Yes, after two go-around, it did its third attempt, um, and it didn't really quite uh, work out well. As you can see, this is the fourth affected engine, um, and it's severely broken. Interestingly enough, it it's still in kind of one piece. It's just that the main part of the cowling has just gone missing. I guess that's still on the runway. Hopefully, uh, Concorde doesn't take off next. Ooh, that is an insane landing. And boom! <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. You know, maybe the plane was landing beyond its crosswind limitations. Well, obviously, because otherwise the landing would have worked out. The typhoon over there really was crazy. I mean, look at the smoke coming out here in the background of the video. That must have been crazy amounts of winds. I mean, the weather reported was 28 knots of wind, gusting 41 knots of wind. And I guess that might have happened there. Here is another view from a CCTV camera. Uh, for me, everything looks fine until it doesn't. Oh, there we go. That is a bit of speed. You really don't want to see that on camera. And now here's the airplane in for repair. There's a man lying on the ground doing inspections, mainly of the third engine to see if that is also broken. But even from here, I can see it looks sort of dented. Yeah, that is two engine swaps, a few million dollars of damage. Now, interestingly online, lots of people are pointing out huge pilot error. Of course, always easy to say after the fact, but it's true. You maybe shouldn't be trying to land in a literal typhoon. And, but people also point out terrible crosswind landing skills. Luckily, it was a 747 instead of the mighty MD-11. What? If only they knew how to use a rudder. You know what? I, it shouldn't be a debate, but I think I do see the rudder being pointed to the right, which is not really what you should do on a crosswind landing when the wind is coming from the right. Right? Normally in a situation like this, you should apply left rudder, like in this picture. But it clearly seems as though the rudder is... It might, that might just be an optical illusion as well. Now that I have... I don't know really what's going on, to be honest. Yes, it might be a bit of piled error, but it also might be the 747 in its design. Oddly enough, the 747 is a plane that has thousands, literally thousands, of videos of it landing hard. Boom, look at all the shakiness right here. You know you did a bit of a hard landing when you end up bouncing so much, first of all, like at two landings, but that the tires bouncing onto the runway creates so much smoke that you can literally see wing vortices. It's absolutely insane. Look at all the smoke. Oh, my, oh, never mind. That's all. Actually, that's in rain. Oh, all right. Let's look at this right here. Another 747, extremely hard landing. Martin Air, never heard of that. Who's Martin? Yeah, that's that's pretty hard as well. Here's another hard landing. Why would you upload this? Why would you upload this as a vertical? It's literally a horizontal film. That makes no sense. But boom, that is an insane amount of hardness right here on the runway. All right, very hard KLM 747. This was back when KLM still had the 747. This is at least like 10 years old. This video. Let's take a look. Come on. Uh, ooh. Uh, another one, Lufthansa, passenger uh, 747. So, oh, 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 that was a weird landing. The 747 has very tilted outer main landing gear. So you can see that and the plane touched down on those first quite smoothly and then it settled down, making the whole airplane shake very much. All right, another UPS. Uh, impact on the runway is quite a word. Let's take a look. 
But all that is a genuine impact. Why do they always land so hard? All right, come on. Pretty hard landing. Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. Let's see. I want to see those flaps shake. Come on. Ah. Oh, well, that was okay. It's not really a butter. This one is an interesting float. Obviously, in some sort of crosswind condition. Boom, right there. I've never seen so much smoke created by a single model of airplane. Come on, let's take a look. And boom, that makes the whole thing shake. Interesting. Hard landing of a 747 with shaking flaps. That seems to happen quite often, to be honest. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Here's another one. Hard to watch landing. What does that mean? And... Oh. Oh. Bouncing around a little bit. Like, it somehow seems indecisive of whether to actually land or not sometimes. Uh... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this one is an absolute hood classic from one of those airline live streams. Um, absolutely insane. Boeing 747 bounces on LAX runway uh, during hard landing. Absolutely insane landing indeed on the 7478. See, it's even the modern versions. Of course. Oh my god. And a bounce right there. That is insane. And the plane ended up doing a quite an interesting go around right here what a messy landing I imagine how that feels being a passenger here's i think a whole different clip although i'm not sure this was three years ago why did they have swiss zero one as a hashtag and this one was one year ago so let's take a look this is an iphone video how bad could it be you know probably Oh, just end up slamming it. It gets even more insane. Let's get the Pacific Cargo one is absolutely insane. Look at that flare. Boom, bam. And yeah, that's it. That's, uh, that was crazy. <laughs> like, this is like the hundreds clip that I could find. 747 landing. Oh my God. That is an insane amount of hardness. So you may wonder, what is it all about, this plane? The 747, is it hard to land? I mean, after all, it is quite contradictory to what pilots of the 747 actually say. They say it's actually a relatively easy to fly airplane. And honestly, I would definitely say that it's not as bad as the MD-11 that, you know, just from design, it, you know, lands hard. But come on, let's figure this out. Let's, you know, put the flaps down all the way. This is a nice 747-200 classic. Let's try to fly it at zero wind. All right, come on. 20, 10. Okay, um, I don't think the plane was actually trimmed well. All right, that was actually pretty hard. I didn't mean to do a hard landing. Uh, all right, I kind of messed up there. Sorry about that. Uh, you know what I think, though? The 747 is just the most recorded airplane in the world. I mean, no one bothers to record the 737 anymore. The 747 is always impressive, though. And you know, there are just as many smooth landing clips of this plane. I mean, look at that. It can be quite a butter machine as hard landing clips. Look at that. I want to see that again. So I don't think the 747 is inherently flawed, although there are some design things that makes the 747 just different to other airliners, of course. I mean, this plane is super, super heavy. I mean, it moves around like 300 tons of kinetic energy and just that huge momentum upon landing is hard, you know, to flare. And so especially in gusty wind conditions, pilots tend to set the plane down a bit harder to land safely, which hasn't worked out in UPSs case. Ah, look at that beautiful animation right there. I mean, look at the landing gear though. It is quite tall, but this also means that there's a lot of energy that it can pick up, but put throughout the airplane. What I mean by that is the immense shakiness of the flaps. See, the interesting thing about the 747 is that the landings probably look harder from the outside than they do from the inside. This is very damp an airplane, and it seems as though the flaps take most of the energy. It's very wobbly, which makes the landings even look more extreme. Boom. Interestingly enough, though, the 747, despite its, you know, bump right here in front that suggests, you know, having, you know, crosswind hit against it would affect it more, the crosswind capabilities of the plane is actually quite good. This plane actually ranks relatively high in crosswind, but let's see. Um, I mean, after all, we have got a huge vertical stabilizer surface right here, and in an extremely gusty wind, that can be a bit of a problem during the actual flare. The la oh, the landing. Another thing I can maybe see is that the cockpit of the 747 is very, very high up, of course, so uh, let's see. Oh. Oh. 
there we go. And as you can see, there is smoke here because I put on hard brakes. And lastly, well, I think the main reason is that most of these landings here are cargo airlines. And, you know, in cargo, you don't really care about how the passengers feel about a landing. You don't need to hear clapping in the background as applause. After all, you're just flying lifeless packages of stuff around. Um, and so it's all just about safety and making sure the plane doesn't break and it doesn't really matter how hard you land. So that is the 747. Keep the hard landings coming. And of course, no airplane type will ever have just perfect landings. Definitely normal for the 747. And you know what? I don't even mind it. It's mostly satisfying to see the plane touch down a little harder, you know? This one's a very satisfying one. I mean, as long as the engines don't break. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.